What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We'll be talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about a small update when it comes to Michael Myers and the Halloween franchise. Uh, we'll talk about Terrifier 3. We'll talk about the Black Phone 2. And we'll talk about this Scream 7 rumor. Now, a resurfaced Scream 7 rumor, I will say. Now, for my gamers out there, I'll go over this GameSpot article about Michael Myers first. It says, Call of Duty's popular... The haunting Halloween event is returning for the upcoming spooky season with a new trailer confirming Season 6 arrives in Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone on September 18th. The seasonal update will include Michael Myers as a Call of Duty operator and other spooky skins. Activision has released a new trailer to announce Season 6 and The Haunting, which reveals a spooky nighttime makeover for Warzone's Rebirth Island map. Zombies also make an appearance, so the event will likely include some of Call of Duty's zombie-themed multiplayer modes like Horde Point and Infected. Michael Myers was previously introduced into Call of Duty Ghost as a playable character who was a reward from completing a challenge on the Fog DLC map. This time, the horror icon looks to be burning or be returning as an operator bundle. So, while we wait for Michael's solo game, if you are a fan of Call of Duty, you can play as the shape on there while you wait to stalk the streets of Haddonfield, I guess. Um, I don't recall Michael Myers being in Call of Duty Ghost, but then again, I didn't really buy too many DLC packs for Call of Duty Ghost. So, I might check this out and play this myself, just to play as Michael Myers in Call of Duty, I guess. Now, we're going to talk about Terrifier 3. So, we got this cool new poster for Terrifier 3 shared with us a few days ago. The film, as you all know, is going to be having its world premiere this Friday during Fantastic Fest. Be on the lookout for reactions and any other notable plot details that can be teased as we approach the October 11th release date. We're less than a month away. Also, I believe Art the Clown himself is coming to Call of Duty as well. Uh, yeah, the Modern Warfare page tweeted this out. It says, Art the Clown, a.k.a. The Terrifier, gets his very own operator bundle in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone with Season 6. It says it includes Terrifier Weapon Blueprint, Miles County Killer Weapon Blueprint, Charm, Sticker, Large Decal, Emblem, and Loading Screen. Now, when it comes to Terrifier 3, like I mentioned, Friday is the world premiere. If you are someone who does not want any sort of spoilers whatsoever, this is the time to start muting and discarding certain pages until you have the pleasure of seeing it on October 11th. Because while you might not be seeing it for a while, several people again are going to be seeing it Friday. And if you're someone who's very, very sensitive to spoilers, it is time to start taking precautions because there's going to be no one to blame but yourself after this Friday. Now, diving into the Black Phone 2. We got a new report from Deadline about the Black Phone 2. It says, after world premiering his Angelina Jolie-helmed war drama Without Blood at the Toronto Film Festival, Academy Award nominee Demian Bichar has come aboard for a role in the Black Phone 2, Universal's sequel to its 2021 horror hit from director scott derrickson i don't think they came out in 2021 i think they came out in 2022 yeah it says details details to his role are being kept under wraps as is the follow-ups plot as we were first to report original cast members ethan hawk mason thames madeline mcgraw Jer jeremy davies and miguel moore are all set to return along with derrickson who again co-wrote the script with partner c robert cargill Slated for release in theaters on October 17, 2025, the sequel will be produced by Derrickson Cargill and Blumhouse's Jason Blum. Joel Hill, writer of the short story on which the first one was based, serves as executive producer. My best bet is he's going to be playing a cop of some sort or some sort of investigative character. Wasn't he in The Nun as well? He was good in The Nun, uh, even though that film is dumb. <laughs> he was quite good in The Nun. But last thing we're going to talk about here is going to be Scream seven now scream seven's time jump rumors have started resurfacing this time with claims that the story is centered around the 30th anniversary of the original murders before i go any further this wouldn't be the first time this is making the rounds but i do want to double down on that because daniel rpk reported this back in may and we're still waiting for confirmation on this time jump he expressed this would be to give sydney's kids a role in the story but here's the thing I'd be more excited about a 30th anniversary story if Scream 4 hadn't already done the 15th anniversary story. 
So we've seen this before. So forgive me if I'm not ready to get on my knees over this concept just yet. And what about this 30th anniversary is going to bother Sydney? She seems strong during the 15th anniversary. So I'm going to need something substantial to rattle that cage on this 30th anniversary if this ends up being true, especially considering how strong and sure of herself she was in five. Of course, we don't need to see that again in seven if she's gonna be the focus. She's gonna need to do a hell of a lot better job at selling Ghostface as a threat because if you're just gonna be discarding Ghostface like that, then that diminishes Ghostface as a threat. So, like I've said, Scream 7 might be a great film, but I just have higher standards than most when it comes to Sydney. Her return in five was exciting at first just for nostalgia's sake, but once I started learning how they were using her, what motivated her to get involved, I thought it was brilliant and I couldn't look forward to seeing how it was executed on screen and it didn't disappoint. I loved every second of her inclusion in five. Once I get more on Sydney and her inclusion in seven and what her story will be, then maybe I'll get on my knees. Maybe, just maybe. It's highly unlikely, but just maybe. I, I just don't see the appeal of the 30th anniversary, not when Scream 4 has already done the 15th anniversary. I also do have my doubts about this being true because I'm noticing that there's a lot of articles coming out mentioning Maureen Prescott's and this 30th anniversary of the Woodsboro murder. So I'm also kind of side-eyeing this and going, are we just pulling things out of our ass from articles and passing them off as things we've heard? I don't, I don't know. But we'll just have to wait and see what comes of Scream 7 because Scream 7 again is supposed to start shooting in December. It's rumored to actually start shooting in January, which is yet to be confirmed by anyone involved with production. Although I was able to find out that Scream Spain allegedly got this information from one of the producers attached to the film. So we'll just have to wait and see if any of that ends up being true. Why one of the producers would tell that to Scream Spain is beyond me. That's why I doubt that it's true. But we'll have we'll have to wait and see if it ends up being true by the time we get closer to the end of the year, closer to December. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notification. You can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys... I will see you in the next video.